welcome back to Indigo Smokes Tarot. I'm Alexis. For the purpose of the channel, I do go by Indigo. Um, I have already shuffled everything, cleansed everything. Um, I decided to shuffle everything off camera just to kind of save on time. I really am trying to get these videos shorter. Um, I normally don't say check your sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, north and south nodes, but I realized that I put that on my website, but not everyone is part of not everyone is viewing these videos through my website so just for further notice any videos that you're looking at if something doesn't resonate check another sign that's predominant in your chart all right but Aries readings are for those who have heavy Aries in their chart okay whether that's Sun Moon rising Venus Jupiter north and or south nodes um, if something doesn't resonate check another dominant sign in your chart um, and you could find something that resonates with you okay but other than that, let just, let's just jump right into it. Um, to start off, you have seven face cards, all right? So either there's a lot of personality changes in between um, the people uh, that you're dealing with in whatever situation, or you're dealing with a situation that involves a lot of people. Um, and you have eight major arcanas, all right? That's very fucking significant. Uh, between two different decks, I use two different tarot decks, so eight majors is pretty significant. Um, and your angel numbers, your synchronicities are 333, 666, and 77. Um, a few cards that wanted to pop out in the pre-shuffle were the Ten of Wands, the Reverse Ten of Swords came out twice, and the Fool card wanted to come out. Okay, so that's another major. So the Fool card that talks about um, wanting, wanting to take a leap of faith, wanting a new beginning, whether that's you or someone else. And then Tens, they always represent... Um, completion of a cycle and going on to a new cycle okay so i guess with the cards that came out in the pre-shuffle you could very well say that another angel number of yours is 10 10 10 but you know we'll see how everything comes out but those are your synchronicities and i think that's everything that i wanted to start this video off with i think yeah all right so i started off the reading with three oracle cards okay <laughs> and these were pretty insistent on coming out about two of them came out twice so you have the release card okay it says work with Archangel Michael to let go of what no longer serves you or your purpose then we have the cut your cords ask Archangel Michael to clear any old attachments to fear that stem from past relationships freeing you from destructive patterns All right this is the one that came out twice and the last one that came out was the third eye chakra. It says it is safe for you to see the energy of love in all of its forms, such as auras, visions, angels, etc. All right, so a lot of you could definitely be going through um, third eye activation, or you could be, this situation could be activating your third eye chakra, making you see things from a new perspective, a more enlightened perspective. You could be going through some spiritual or energetic upgrades at this time, or you're about to. But either way, the third eye chakra is about um, following your intuition and seeing things from a more enlightened perspective so that you know what decisions that you need to make. And um, following after the release and cut your cords, um, always releasing any kind of negative or stagnant energy is going to help all of your chakras work better, okay? Um, you may be needing to do some chakra work on the third eye chakra just to make sure that it's balanced, it's not underactive or overactive. And like I said, you could be going through some kind of energetic or spiritual ascension at this time, which would explain why those cards came out. Okay, so th that is the overall energy of the reading. Now we can just get into the tarot cards, okay? And Aries, this this reading is for, uh, sorry, this reading is for Aries, uh, September 2019. You are all throughout your reading, Aries okay <laughs> like truly you are you you popped out at least three times all right so either this is all you or you're also dealing with the fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius all right so the first card that wanted to come out was the reverse knight of wands here this is what it looks like in the upright okay but this is how it came out in the reverse okay so the knight of wands um he gets a bad rep <laughs> for me he's he's an inconsistent card whether he's in the upright or the reverse um, Nine of Wands is player energy. It's someone who is not consistent. They are good for a good time, but not really anything else. And for me, when the Nine of Wands in reverse, when he comes out, I feel like he's even worse when he's in the reverse than he is in the upright. I feel like he's even more inconsistent and even more of a player. 
all right this is someone who just can't stay put for very long and they kind of have a short attention span and they move too fast all right they move so fast that they usually end up returning back to whatever situations that they left because they weren't thinking clearly when they left the situation anyway all right but this is a person who can be a player this is someone who is in and out of your life and consistent flaky that you can't really rely on them for anything more than a good time all right so this is kind of the commitment full part all right um yeah if it is not that and it's not a person i just feel like the reverse knight of wands is possibly uh, lacking some kind of enthusiasm or ambition towards something maybe being impulsive or reckless um not really being grounded in your energy maybe if there's some kind of work or creative project that you're working on this could indicate that maybe uh, someone's moving too fast or maybe they're not moving at all um this is just someone who's either like i said they're not moving at all or they are not thinking things through clearly you know so they could be more prone to making mistakes like i said because this can be pretty impulsive reckless it's fire energy in the excess or no fire energy at all all right so this is either some kind of energy being depleted or it's an excess of fire energy where you don't really get anything accomplished because you're too scattered and you're too fiery all right but in the relationship context this is someone who's not reliable all right and they're not they're not working towards anything solid or stable okay and the second card that came out was the knight of chalices all right so we have two knights so this is the energy of once again someone who is in and out all right so the knights they essentially they're, they're kind of like the errand boys of the zodiac okay because you have the king and the queen and then the knights they are kind of the go fetch all right they, they take orders from the king and the queen and the emperor and the empress and all of that okay so they're not really meant to stay put that's why they don't know how um the knight of cups is about delivering some kind of offer proposal some kind of emotional exchange you know it could be a date it could be offering love some kind of proposal um and the sense of emotions this just has to do with somebody wanting some kind of emotional exchange with you someone offering you some something all right like i said it could be a date it could be love it could be an apology anything along those lines that is what the knight of cups delivers so you could definitely have someone who has been in and out of your life uh wanting to come back and offer you something all right whether or not you'll like it i don't know but this is definitely someone who is trying to rush in and communicate offer some kind of emotional exchange something along those lines all right and we have the reverse three of cups okay so in a relationship context this is you have three threes here so unfortunately that is third party situation and like i said it doesn't have to be cheating but things here point that it was or just that there was some kind of external energies affecting whatever situation or dynamic that you were in um the reverse three of cups it talks about frenemies it talks about you know third party situations involving cheating um it talks about isolation it talks about a lack of togetherness a lack of proper communication just a lack of happy times okay so like i said you could have been in a situation where there was a third party that could have been cheating it could have been lying if this was a friendship uh this is the frenemies card the the gossip card right this is you know feeling isolated in some sense right but in a, the context of a relationship or a friendship this is when things are not in a good space and there's possibly someone external to the dynamic that is uh, negatively impacting it okay so sorry about that if that's what you were experiencing uh, the central card is the chariot okay so this is cancer energy but it could i guess it could be a, any water sign uh, pisces cancer scorpio but this is ruled by cancer and this is all about forward movement moving very fast um, being very controlled and focused on moving forward and not letting anyone or anything stand in your way so either this is the energy that you're taking on or this is someone in your energy rushing towards you wanting to move things forward okay and or this is you moving on from a situation like i said where there was someone who was in and out of your life there was a third party situation maybe someone that you thought was your friend your homie they're not and this is the the energy of moving on from that fast quick and in a hurry running anyone and anything over that's in your way and so we have the second three the reverse three of swords okay so once again this indicates that there was some kind of heartbreak some kind of falling out some kind of disappointment 
and it could have definitely been due to a third party situation that was cheating or maybe like I said if it's a friendship frenemies um, this does not look like work there's not a lot of pinnacles here but if this is a work uh, situation or creative project this is just things not working cohesively there's no cooperation there's a lot of disappointment and setbacks that's that energy but since this look like this looks like it's a relationship I'm gonna say that um, there was some heartbreak here, some disappointment, um, possibly some betrayal, you know, when third party situations, it could always be betrayal. And, but with this in the reverse, it means that the worst is over and that you're healing, okay? So there's healing involved, you're moving on. This is a really good energy to have coming after the chariot card, okay? So it means that you're moving on and you're healing from whatever past conflict or situation or disappointment, heartache that you were dealing with. This is a good combination, all right? Moving forward, healing from past hurts. And then right after that, we have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, okay? So, the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, it's, this is one of my favorite cards, so I don't really like to see it in the reverse. But when it's in the reverse to me, it's like, it's the energy of a situation or a dynamic. It's not, it's not beneficial to you, okay? So this could be a situation that's stagnant. Um, this could be a situation um, or a cycle that isn't finished. And it could also just be that um, something about the cycle that you're in or the dynamic that you're in is not benefiting you. And since this is the card of fortune and lady luck, it's like those things aren't on your side or they're not. Something here isn't in support of the situation that you're in. You know, maybe it's bringing you a lot of bad vibes. Maybe it's a lot of bad fortune. Maybe there's a lot of setbacks. Maybe there's a lot of unfinished business. But... Um, to me, this isn't a really happy card. This is when things aren't going in your favor or um, a situation that you're in is just, it's a lot of uh, negative energy, you know, like bad karma, bad fortune. No matter what you do, it's like, it's not working, it's not going well. That's that energy. So it's like whatever you were dealing with, whatever it is that you're moving on from, it could be that no matter what you were trying to do, it just would not work. It's like, um, it's like there was maybe people or forces or energies working against you not allowing you know the will of fortune to go into the upright to where things could work out in your favor so once again if that is something that you are dealing with i'm so sorry that sucks but um the last card that we got is the six of pentacles all right and this card came out twice yeah it came out in one of the clarifiers so the six of pentacles this is the card of charity and generosity in the original depiction of this card it is someone there's like one person given to two different people, okay? Because it's, it's a charity card. So it's like you're helping, you're being generous. There's a lot of um, give and take, all right? But in this particular context, it could be that someone was giving to, you know, two different people, places, things, situations, or just being overly giving of their energy to more than one person, all right? Um, on a more positive note, this is just someone wanting equal give and take with you, but it could definitely be that in the past, someone was giving to more than one person as far as a relationship dynamic and that could have thrown off the balance of the situation, all right? So, um, I feel like this is going is gonna go two different ways because like I said, it popped up twice. So I feel like this indicates that in the past, like I said, there was a third party, there was some, some extra energies involved that maybe someone wasn't aware of and it threw off the balance or the dynamic. Um, and I feel like this is also someone currently wanting equal give and take in a particular situation, all right? Right, at the bottom of the deck here, this is your energy, Queen of Wands, you popped out twice. This one's in the upright, the other one is in the reverse. So this is your energy, Aries, um, or you could just be dealing with another fire sign, like I said, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And let's get into the clarifiers. All right, so clarifying the reverse Knight of Wands is the hangman, okay? So um, a situation that is not moving forward, you know, a, a person or a situation being at a standstill, um, someone in this particular dynamic or someone in your energy or yourself, take it however. Um, with this clarifying the Knight of Wands, I feel like it's this person's energy. It's like maybe someone not moving, not doing anything, just more so in reflection mode, possibly. Uh, whatever it is, something's at a standstill and something is either being seen in a new perspective or it's needing to be seen in a new perspective in order to take action and move forward. Um, this Knight of Wands energy, like I said, they could just be in reflection mode, not really doing anything. Um, like I said, if it's a creative project and it's like things are at a standstill and um, 
someone or the people in whatever situation they're trying to reflect and see how to move things forward but this is also like the self-sacrifice card okay so something in this situ situation is being sacrificed whether it's um, how someone is viewing things whether you're sacrificing the situation altogether hence the release card that we got in the beginning of the reading this is definitely a situation that's not moving but also someone in this dynamic is seeing things from a new perspective but they're not necessarily doing anything about it in this moment Clarifying the Knight of Cups is the reversed Queen of Swords, okay? So, if there is someone trying to come in and, and offer you some kind of love offer, proposal, apology, a date, um, the Queen of Swords is not really interested in this context, right? The Queen of Swords is not the most receptive queen out of all four of them. She's... Uh, She's a little bit more controlled in her energy. She's more logical. She's more shrewd in her analysis of things and in how she handles situations. So when she's in the reverse, to me, she's a little bit more scorned. Or if not scorned, she's very harsh and she lacks patience, all right? This could be someone who's very sharp with their tongue. They're, they're not very, they're not gentle in any way. They're not receptive. It's that person where, you know, they just shut you down. They shut you down before you can even get it out. Like, what the fuck do you want? hell no get out my face that's her energy okay so whoever is coming in to offer something is like yeah the whoever the, the queen energy is in the situation this is libra gemini and aquarius heavy libra energy though yeah this is someone who is not receptive to the offer as a matter of fact she's probably angry or impatient in regards to whatever this offer or proposal is okay so I'm not laughing, but it's just, anytime I see the Queen of Swords, she makes me laugh because I, I'm, I know so many people with her energy, and I just automatically think of those people anytime I see the card, but yeah, in the reverse, she's not receptive to anything that you're talking about, she most likely just wants you to get the fuck out of her face, unfortunately, so, clarifying the reverse three of cups, we have three clarifiers that came out, right, so, we have counterparts here, we have the King of Wands, we have the Five of Cups, right? And we have the World card. So, um, yeah. The King of Wands, while he is technically more mature than the Knight of Wands, um, he's he's still the king that can be a bit of a player. You know, he's he's charming, he's persuasive, he's confident. Um, in, a, in a work context or a creative context, he's like the entrepreneur, the go-getter, the one who can't really stay put. He, he's always going for the next adventure. Um, he's very passionate, ambitious, but in a relationship context, he can be someone who is a player. He can be someone who is very attractive and gets a lot of attention from a lot of different people. All right, And he's the type that can easily fall into his ego because, you know, it's that, it's that fire energy. It's... Um, it's enjoying, you know, being flirtatious and sexual. It's, it can very much, um, he can very much get into his ego, all right, the, the, the king of wands. So it's, a. Uh, I never really know what to think of him until I clarify him, to be honest. But um, with this reverse three of cups being here, I see it as the player card, especially right after that, we have the five of cups, which is, you know, someone crying over spilt milk. All right, so either this king is taking on this energy and he's feeling isolated in this situation, possibly feeling, feeling a lot of uh, guilt or remorse for whatever happened in this dynamic, and um, could be wanting a new cycle here, okay? And this is also with, like I said, the Queen of Wands here, this is a counter, this is a relationship, these are counterparts. So someone here could be closing a cycle um, on a situation that brought a lot of uh, pain, deception and heartbreak all right so someone here in this energy is feeling very hurt and remorseful whether it's the person who got hurt or whether it's the person who is inflicting this hurt and i feel like it is the person who inflicted it because like i said this came out with the king so i feel like the king energy is you know remorseful about how this entire cycle has gone due to this third party energy okay and like i said he could be feeling you know isolated in some way or you know salty <laughs> Maybe feeling salty, but definitely remorseful about how things have turned out. Um, right after.
after that, clarifying the chariot, we have the reversed knight of pentacles. Okay, so we have a lot of knight energy. Okay, knights are not, they're not reliable. Okay, um, considering that we have three different queen cards here, someone in this situation is like more mature than the other person or people involved. All right, because there's a significant difference between a knight and a queen. Like I said, the knight follows the queen's orders along with the king so they're they're not equals okay remember that um so clarifying this chariot card we have the reverse knight of pentacles the reverse tower card and the reverse star card so this is uh like i said moving forward but there's something here that wasn't there was no progress being made okay either someone wasn't putting in any effort maybe they didn't know how maybe they were confused maybe they were inadequate and they just they didn't know what the fuck they were doing but this is a lack of progress even slow progress this is the energy of not even taking baby steps it's like somebody here just wasn't doing anything <laughs> or isn't doing anything to move towards a particular goal in this dynamic okay so I just read the Knight of Pentacles in reverse as someone who is irresponsible, someone who um, isn't taking any action, either because they don't want to or just they don't know how, alright? Uh, with this um, with this tower card, this is about avoiding, okay? This is, <laughs> there's something here that, I'm going to assume that whoever's taking on this chariot energy, they're, they're moving on and they're avoiding something. They are, they're avoiding something that they lost hope for. It's like they lost faith in something. There's something here that someone does not want to heal. They don't want to resurrect. They don't want to deal with. They just want to avoid it completely and move on, right? Um, the star card in the reverse is kind of depressing, actually. It's, it's that, it's honestly when you lose all hope. You know, there's, you don't see a silver lining. You don't see how something could be healed. You no longer have hope in it you don't have faith in it you're not optimistic about it this could be a very um dark time for someone when you realize that you're not getting your wishes fulfilled and you most like and you you could feel like you're not ever going to get your wishes fulfilled hence no longer um making any progress towards something and wanting to avoid it and just move on here okay so um whoever's taking on the chariot energy it's most likely because they lost hope in something and they weren't satisfied with how things were making progress because things weren't moving along at all or they weren't moving along how one thought or wanted it to and so they're just deciding reverse tower avoid it and keep it pushing basically all right clarifying the reverse three of swords is the reverse ten of swords okay so this one wanted to come out in the pre-shuffle in um this deck all right uh it didn't but me when it came out a second time i just was like okay i'm gonna keep it but yeah so once again the reverse three of swords ten of swords they both talk about healing when they're in the reverse okay so that's good somebody here is definitely healing and moving forward but this can also be read as uh someone is wanting to heal a situation all right with the ten of swords in reverse this can be someone who or a situation that's trying to resurrect itself it's like Someone's trying to come back. They're trying to do the the Lazarus effect, right? Where you come, where the situation or the person revives themselves from the dead because they want another go round. Okay, so definitely, without a doubt, someone here is healing, point blank, period. All right, but also someone, um, either you or someone in your energy is wanting to heal a situation. All right, but definitely, someone here is healing and moving forward. So that is that's pretty good. With the reversed Wheel of Fortune, we have the Ace of Wands and the Six of Pentacles, all right? So this is the second time the Six of Pentacles came out. <clears throat> so, like I said, the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse is a dynamic, a cycle that is just, it's not going well. It probably doesn't make you feel well. You could feel like um, the situation could be it, you could feel like it's bad karma like it's just not things are not cohesive things are not moving forward in a positive way you could be dealing with a lot of setbacks okay but like i said it's like someone here is wanting 
a, a new beginning. The Ace of Wands is all about passion. Sometimes, um, since it is sexual, masculine, phallic energy, it could be someone wanting sex. All right, so beware of that because you do have a player card, you do have a third party card, you do have a Six of Pentacles. All right, somebody who can be a little bit over generous with their time, energy, money, etc. So. Um, something here was not working. There could be some unfinished business. And someone here is wanting to, like I said, they're wanting to resurrect something. They're wanting equal give and take here. All right. So somebody here wants a passionate new start. But with the will of fortune in reverse, may not be a good idea. All right. Because things haven't been working out so far. But somebody here wants, wants to resurrect this or wants a new start in some way, shape, or form. Okay. Six of Pentacles is all about give and take, generosity, charity, wanting some kind of equal exchange, all right? Um, also, with the Six of Pentacles popping up twice, it could have been that someone in a situation was giving a lot. Um, they were, it's like someone was over giving and maybe someone else wasn't giving anything at all or they weren't giving enough. So it could also go that way as well if it wasn't someone, you know, just giving to multiple people in a romantic context. Clarifying the Six of Pentacles here, we have the Reverse Temperance. Oof, we have the Nine of Pentacles. And we have the Queen of Wands. So, someone here, <laughs> someone here is not really, not feeling it. That's all that I really get from this, right? Because the Reverse Temperance is it's a lack of balance, it's a lack of harmony, it's a lack of healing, it's a lack of wanting to reconcile, all right? In an emotional sense, it can indicate that someone in this dynamic is um, overindulgent or excessive in some way. Uh, like I said, if there's a player, if there's someone who's overindulgent in um, anything, really, it could be overindulgent in sex, it could be overindulgent with alcohol, drugs, just overall not having balance within a situation or not having balance within yourself, not knowing how to heal and um, balance yourself out or a situation out, okay? But in regards to clarifying the Six of Pentacles, this is just like someone doesn't want to reconcile. Someone here could possibly be, once again, angry, pissed off, not receptive, all right? The Queen of Wands in reverse, she's someone who can be angry. She's someone who can um, sometimes she can just she can lose her 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 passion for a situation. She could be pissed off. She could be jealous or insecure or manipulative. But I really do not see it this way. I feel like this energy is just fed up with something that's going on and just deciding that with the nine of pentacles here, somebody is single and they want to remain single. All right. Um, yeah. So in this context, I don't see the queen of wands as someone who's jealous or insecure or manipulative. Um, sometimes queen of wands can be the mistress energy. So like I said, if there was a third party situation this is definitely my mistress card uh when she's in the reverse especially but like i said within this context i just see this as someone who is not open to this equal give and take in a particular situation someone here doesn't want to heal it they don't want to balance it they're fed up with it and they're just wanting to you know they're, they're looking good feeling good and they just want to do their own thing all right because the nine of pentacles is all about you know, being very self-sufficient, independent, happily single, focused on oneself and finances, and just enjoying life, all right? So there's something here that someone is not interested in investing in, all right? So, shit, all right? I don't know who is feeling like this, but it's good that somebody here is healing and moving forward. That's, that's really beautiful. I'm really proud of you. Um, but yeah, it's, it's like if somebody's coming back to reconcile or to resurrect the situation, I don't see a lot of receptivity to it, all right? Because we have two very confident women uh, being very impatient and pissed off in a particular situation. It's like, it's just angry or impatient. It's just like, I'm, I'm not interested. Leave me the fuck alone, all right? These are two women, when they're in the reverse, they can lash out and hurt your fucking feelings, like severely. Because they they just don't they they give no fucks they they're done they're over it all right at the bottom of the deck as far as the clarifiers go we have the reverse lovers okay so this is um if someone's coming back with you know an offer 
this could indicate that someone here made a poor decision, all right? They did they didn't make a good decision in in the context of a relationship because the lovers is about you know divine partnership and compatibility and love and all of that. Um, so this definitely could have been a spiritual connection, even though we don't have a lot of cups here, like the two of cups or the six of cups. Even though we don't have that, this could have definitely been you know a significant relationship um, or just a significant situation in your life, but. When this is in the reverse, I see this as attempting, like something is tempting in a particular situation, but I also see it as someone who has made a poor decision, all right? Because in the upright, this is about making a head over heart decision. In the reverse, it's like maybe you didn't make uh, the right decision for you or someone in this situation didn't make the right decision and it could lead you to feeling like, fuck, like regretful, you know? Because when the lovers is in the upright, it's all about being at a crossroads and there's, there's only one right decision and if you don't make that decision you regret it after and you always wonder what if so when this, when this is in the reverse it's like somebody here did not make a good decision and they could be regretting it and like I said if someone is coming back offering something it could be a tempting offer possibly but like I said I don't see someone being interested or being receptive to it so and then also um, more straightforward with this is just this is just symbolizing a breakup, a lack of harmony and balance within a relationship or a context, right? It just talks about being separated, okay? So take what resonates from that, but um, there was definitely a relationship or a dynamic here that is broken up. There was a lack of harmony and a lack of balance. Someone here could be wanting to heal it and someone else here is like, fuck it. And, you know, they're possibly a little bit rude or angry in the way that they say fuck it, but yeah. Someone here just could feel like a situation did not work out in their favor. All right. So there is that. I'm going to close with some oracle messages. Even though we already have the beginning messages. All right. So use your intuition. All right. The third eye is all about seeing the the nuances and the subtleties in the situation. So use your intuition try to see things as clearly as you possibly can if you're going to be faced with any decisions that you need to make tap into that okay let that let that guide you um your third eye when it is open and balanced is not going to lead you wrong so so work with it um like i said somebody here isn't receptive so because you're not whoever is feeling that energy you need to release and cut your cords all right um cutting your cords that's something that archangel michael can help you with you could do it in a guided meditation. You can just visualize it or you can just say a prayer every day until you feel like you've officially cut the situation out, all right? Um, you can cut your cords with a person, a place, a thing, a situation, a bad habit. There are energy cords that we have to every single thing. We have energy cords attached to our job, whether we like it or not. Um, with anybody that we are in interacting with on a consistent basis, there's cords there. Anyone you've had an extended relationship with, there's some strong ass cords there. Um, so whatever it is that you're wanting to cut away, do that. All right, you're being guided to do so. Closing messages. I'm gonna try and do this as fast as possible. Your cards came out pretty easy and pretty easy, pretty easy in the pre-shuffle. So hopefully these will as well. Divine High Powers, Guardian Angels, and Archangels of the Collective. What closing messages and advice do we have for the Aries Collective for September 2019 in regards to the situation that they're dealing with? Messages for the Aries Collective, Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North, and South Nodes. Pay attention to your dreams. That goes hand in hand with the third eye card. Pay attention to this energy center. Work with it. You can do some meditation. You can listen to some some healing music. You can, like I said, talk to Archangel Michael or another angel that you like or a spirit guide that you work with to help you to tune in to your intuition, your third eye, your dreams. Pay attention to that. Alright, any last messages or advice for the Aries Collective for September 2019? 
in regards to the situation we're dealing with. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, um, North and South Node. Got a few so it says decide to be happy now it says thank you for helping me open my heart to happiness joy and bliss i'm now willing to see all the goodness in my life so um realize that you create your own happiness okay do not allow your happiness to depend on external factors because external situations people places things they always change at some point so make sure that regardless of what's going on around you you can have happiness within yourself okay um you have guarded and protected all right so you your loved ones you're safe you're good spiritually energetically you you're fine okay um this is archangel michael so it could be signifying that he wants to work with you he's popped up in all the cards so if you want to work with him do so uh your your ancestors your spirit guides your higher self all of that you're guarded and protected and it says your inner guidance is real and trustworthy so once again that goes to the pay attention to your dreams that goes to the third eye chakra pay attention to your feelings your gut your all of that <laughs> just just pay attention to it okay um if you want more divine guidance ask for it and you'll get it and the last card came out was a favorable outcome okay so i feel like this goes right to the decide to be happy now card when you decide to be happy, that is a favorable outcome, all right? That's that's the starting point. If you can decide to be happy within yourself, you can attract a more favorable outcome, whether it is within the situation or whether you close the situation out and then you get something better. Either way, once you tap into deciding to be happy, either way, whether it's with this situation or another situation, you get um, you get something that you want. You get an outcome that, that works for you. Right at the bottom of the deck, we have energy healing work. So once again, uh, with the third eye chakra, you can, um, in the form of like meditation, um, you can call on, you know, archangels, all of that to help heal your energy. You can take, you know, some spiritual baths. You can do some spiritual cleansing, whichever way you like. If you like sage, do that. If you like um, Palo Santo, use that. Um, whichever way that you like to cleanse your energy do that at this time it'll help you to cut your cords and release whatever is not serving to you anymore okay let me move this out the way and switch other deck to I think the Perseverance card wanted to come out. Alright, soulmate. Alright, so, um, like I said, this definitely could have been a soulmate connection, but soulmate doesn't necessarily mean that it's a good connection. It just means that it's a significant one that somehow, some way, you're going to learn a valuable lesson from. Okay? Also, if you're focused on attracting another soulmate, then that's a good thing to focus on, especially if it helps you to release the past situation. All right, can we please get one more card for the Aries Collective? Okay, it says gratitude, right? So this goes right in hand with the decide to be happy now. Even if things did not work out in your favor in this particular situation, try to focus on the things that you still have. Focus on the things that actually bring you happiness and fulfillment in this moment. That way you can attract more of it, okay? And I guess I'll go with the bottom of the deck card. I like this one. Perception, right? So definitely 
uh, going hand in hand with this hangman, someone here is seeing something from a new perspective, all right? So whatever it is, however the situation played out for you, good or bad, you learned something from it, all right? Your perception has evolved and it's changed as a result of the situation, and that is what a soulmate connection does. It changes your perception, whether it's for good, for bad, you pick something up from the dynamic and you move forward hopefully you move forward in a more positive way but i feel like with this being in the upright someone has gained a better um perception and perspective than they previously had before dealing with the situation okay okay we got that and last deck what i think i'm actually gonna finish before the hour mark i'm kind of proud of myself Messages for Aries for September 2019 in regards to this situation. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North, and South Node. Any last messages? <laughs> okay, Goddess of Creation. It says transformation, creativity, wholeness. So like I said, you're coming into a better version of yourself. Um, the situation has transformed you in some way, shape, or form, and that is a good thing. Embrace it. If you're, in, if you're a creative person, allow whatever the situation has taught you to fuel your creativity and self-expression. What else came out? Okay, liberation, breaking free from a negative attachment. That speaks for itself. It says, lost love, surrender, healing, and release. I cannot make this shit up. I really cannot, okay? You also got two more sevens. And if I'm not mistaken, you had two sevens already. So seven, 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 seven. That's another angel number for you. Definitely look it up. Um, it looks like there was some love lost here, but like I said, it's it's transformed you. You have evolved, and your perception and the way that you conduct yourself and see life has changed um, as a result of everything. So being grateful and deciding to be happy now, it helps you to see the silver lining in that and helps you to move forward without carrying the baggage of the situation with you. Um, this other card that came out was Evolution, another transformation card. All right, so Earth is going through a transition, and so are we. It, it happens because, you know, we are connected to Earth, vice versa. So when Earth goes through changes, so do we. Like I said, you've got a lot of transformation and release cards here. So embrace the fact that you're growing and you're evolving, and you're not who you used to be, okay? And that's a good thing, all right? And the last card that we got was the reflection card. It says illusion, self-examination, extortion. All right, so possibly um, if you haven't already, someone here is going to be uh, reflecting um, on yourself, on the situation, trying to make sure that you see the truth in things. All right, so as you take on this reflection energy, self-examination, make sure that you are using your third eye, your intuition, so that you can see through any um, self-imposed or externally imposed illusions, okay? Do not get caught up in your own self-deception, all right? You got enough shit going on. You don't need to you know, fuck yourself up in the head, all right? Try to see things clearly as possible. All right, at the bottom of the deck, we have Flame Tree, the start of something new. This goes in hand in hand with the Ace of Wands. So even if this is someone wanting a new beginning with you, like I said, in the pre-shuffle, the full cart wanted to come out. So you're, you're moving forward. You're going to get something new. That Chariot card is not here for no reason, all right? So you are definitely getting a new beginning of some sort, whether it's with this person, even though it doesn't look like it, or whether you're just venturing off and deciding to go elsewhere. You're getting something completely new and different, okay? And I think that is it. Yep. Those are all of my Oracle cards for the day. Um, once again, your angel numbers, 333-666-7777. Um, thank you for watching, Aries. I hope that this message resonated with you. 
Um, I appreciate your support. You had the most views, so I really appreciate that. And until next time, I will see you. I may or may not do mid-monthly, so I'm not going to promise it just because life is kind of hectic for me right now. But um, if I can, I absolutely will. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate every like, subscribe. I like every comment. I appreciate every DM. Thank you. I love you. And until next time.